What's good, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about five different banks and five credit cards at those banks that can help you get up to $250,000 and even a little bit more, but I'll tell you how in a second. If you just started a business and need some additional funding to get some equipment to pay for help or to get inventory, etc., but you haven't even made any money yet, this will help. This is also for those of you that want to build business credit because these cards report to the major credit bureaus for businesses, so it will help you with that. So I'm going to show you the five different credit cards that you can get all at five different banks, and I'm also going to show you these additional funding options that you can get with no credit check. That's that bonus funding I was talking about. You'll be able to get all of these, the credit cards and the bonuses without any proof of income. And I'm going to drop the bonuses at a random spot in the video, so make sure you watch the whole thing. Now for the credit cards, you will need to have good credit. I'm talking like maybe 650 or better. Again, the bonuses are no credit checks, so you don't have to worry about your credit for those. But if you don't have good credit already, I have a bunch of videos showing you exactly what you need to do to get your credit to a better spot, no matter where you're at on the channel. And I also have some resources that I've created from my experience in helping people with their credit down in the description, so you can check that out and get some additional help. And it'll be better than the free information that you usually find online. Also, if you don't want to do it yourself and you need somebody to help you with it, you can look down below to schedule a consultation with my company and we can help work on your credit for you while you focus on other things like growing your business. We also have a sale going for October, so check it out. Okay, so before we get to the cards, we're going to talk about some prerequisites you need to have in place before you start applying for business credit cards or any type of business funding. But first, down in the comments, let me know what's your reason for applying for business funding. What is it that you want to use the funds for? Drop that down in the comments and I can also make some more videos about specific funding options for the use cases that you're trying to get, like specifically for equipment or specifically for inventory, stuff like that, or whatever else it might be. Now, some of the things I'm going to mention, you may have heard, but if you're completely new to business, you probably have not heard these things, so you definitely need to listen. These will help improve your odds of getting approved and will stop you from having to go from place to place getting denied and not understanding why so the first thing if it's not obvious already is to make sure you filed your business with your state you're more likely to get funding if you have a legit business set up and registered with your state so whatever you have to do to go ahead and get your business registered you know go to your state's website your secretary of state website see what they need fill it out pay the money get it registered if you want a more easy streamlined way of doing it you can go down to the description they have some resources down there for you in registering your business now the second thing that you want to have is make sure that you have a business address not your home address make sure that you have a business address at a business office that you can use as the address for your business now also be careful when you go to some websites where you get those virtual addresses they might have different addresses at different places but you want to make sure that it is like a business office location because sometimes you can get an address those are usually a little bit cheaper and they might be at a gas station and they just allow people to use that address as a virtual address but then when the lenders look up the location and they see that it's not your business name or anything that looks similar to where a business would be and it's something totally different from what you are then that's going to make things look a little sketchy and it might cause you to get denied now i also have a really good resource for getting a virtual business address that actually has some locations where you can actually go in if you need to use the office space to have meetings or stuff like that so check that out in the description there's also a discount code down there for that office space as well so go ahead and check that out the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a professional phone number and email so you don't want to use your cell phone number you don't want to use a google voice number you want to get a official number there are different places where you can get a business phone number for very cheap like maybe 10 20 dollars a month online you can have a phone number and text messaging so that people cannot be calling your personal phone which you probably wouldn't want anyway so go ahead and get that set up as well as your professional email so you should already have a URL for your business if you don't have one make sure you go and get one from GoDaddy or wherever you find name cheap whatever it might be but get a URL that is specific to your company name and then make sure that you have an email address that has that URL at the end of the at so it could be your name at thebestcompany.com whatever your company name is of course doing this makes you look more reputable and it shows that you have taken more time and care with your business and it helps you to look more legit when you're applying for funding now the next thing you want to do is make sure that all of your information that we just talked about is consistent everywhere so whenever you 
have your business found on Google Maps or you list your business anywhere or you apply for anything for your business, you want to make sure you use that exact same company name, that exact same address, and that exact same phone number and email address. This shows when they look for it that this information is consistent everywhere and helps the business to look more legit. If you do all these things beforehand, it will help the approval process go a lot better. Trust me, I just saved you a bunch of time by telling you to do this now before you start applying. Now, another thing you want to understand, because I already mentioned to you that you don't have to have made a bunch of money in your business or any money so far, because I did say this is for new businesses. Now, the reason why is because what you're going to be doing is giving them your projected income. And that's why they allow you to give them stated income, income that you state that you're going to make in this application process. So do an analysis and see what you believe would be your possible income that you would make in a given year and give that to them. Now, this is very good because when I first got started in banking, I was working as a personal and business banker at Wells Fargo. During those times, it was very hard to run across anything like that. It was very hard to get approved if you didn't already have some type of income coming in for your business. And sometimes while they would not ask for proof of income, if you made over a certain amount, a lot of times they would ask for proof of income. So this type of opportunity is really good for new businesses that are out there. Okay, so one of the first cards we're gonna talk about, let's go ahead and jump into that, is going to be American Express. This is one of the banks that will allow you to do the stated income. One thing that you wanna be aware of is you more than likely gonna to want to establish a relationship with a few of these banks. One of them you won't have to, but a few of these, well, I'm sorry, all of those other than that one bank, you're gonna to want to try to establish a relationship with them such as getting a business account with them and having some money in there and just letting that linger around for a few months before you actually try to apply for the card. That can greatly, greatly help increase your chances of getting an approval. So the card that we're gonna talk about from American Express is gonna be the Blue Business Plus credit card. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs of it. You know, I just wanted to show you what it was and give you a little bit of the specs on it so you can see what it is that's gonna be good about this particular card. You can see they have 0% introductory APR on purchases for 12 months from the date of the account opening. So for 12 months, you can get a 0% interest. And they also give you two times the points on everyday eligible business purchases. So there are certain purchases, but you get two times the points, which is really good. And then you get one times the points on all other eligible purchases. So that is really good getting a 2% and a 1% with that 0% APR for 12 months. Now, the next bank we're going to talk about is Bank of America. And we're going to be looking at the Business Advantage Customized Cash Rewards Credit Card. That's a really long name. But this is the card that we're talking about here. They got some really great bonuses on it. As you can see, they have a $300 online statement credit offer. They have 3% cash back in the category of your choice. So you can choose which category you want to be able to get 3% on. So you can look at the category, see which ones best align with how you spend money and get 3% on it, which is really good. And then you got 2% cash back on dining purchases and 1% cash back on all other purchases. So you do get that 1% cash back on all your other purchases. And if you feel like eating, you get 2%. That's something that almost anybody can do. So this is really great options, plus that $300 online statement credit offer. And to get that, you would have to make at least $3,000 in purchases in the first 90 days. So you'd have to spend some money within the first three months of getting the card. That's not too hard to do, especially in business. Now, the next card is going to be the Chase for Business. And I didn't mention it, but Bank of America, of course, you want to go ahead and try to build a relationship with them as well to increase your chances of getting approval. Chase is going to be the bank that you don't have to worry about building a relationship with. I've seen people get approved for this without having to have much of a relationship at all with them, just coming in online and applying. Now with them, you can earn 100,000 bonus points with them. So after you spend 8,000 on purchases in the first three months, that's how you'll get to that offer. Now they do have a $95 annual fee on this card, which is a downfall to it but it is still a pretty good card. You get to earn three points per dollar, so three times the amount that you spend on the first $150,000 that you spend in combined purchases in the following categories, and that's shipping, internet, cable, phone services, advertising purchases, so stuff that you would do in your business already, travel. That's something that a lot of businesses would be doing more than likely in the beginning time frame of starting the business, so this is something that should be easy to do. And also, if you ever need to use a lift, you can earn five times times the total points for lift rides 
all the way through March 2025. So that's a lot of time that you have to cash in on that. Okay, so now I'm going to drop one of the bonuses that is not a credit card. It is a loan. It is for working capital and it is for you guys that use a payment processor called PayPal. Now there's another bonus one that I'm going to mention to you after this one. But with this, there is absolutely no credit check. As you can see here, you can get anywhere from a thousand to a hundred and fifty thousand. And it's solely based off of how much money you run through PayPal. So once you actually get your business up and running, and you're having transactions to come in money to come in then after some time of seeing that happen they will make you an offer or you can come and apply for this so you don't have to worry about the credit check It's solely going to be based off of how much money you're bringing in they'll give you somewhere around the range of what you are commonly bringing in but this is very easy to get just by having business and using this payment processor now that other bonus is going to be stripe stripe does something very similar they do a no credit check uh, and sorry it looks a little bit crazy on the screen here but you can see here that there's no lending application there's no personal credit check and no complicated application process eligibility is based on factors like your payment volume and history on stripe you can get the funds very quickly like as soon as the next business day there's one flat fee that you pay so it won't change throughout the time that you have the loan and also the repayment is automated they just take it out of your money that you have coming in and it's going to be a smaller portion of what you have coming in they'll automatically take out what you owe to them and it's going to be no harm no foul with that but again this is no credit check it's based off of your transactions that you have coming in so merely by making money you get the opportunity to get some additional capital that can help your business grow also if you've been enjoying this information so far make sure to hit the thumbs up button so youtube can know this is a good video and show with more people that's looking for this kind of information and subscribe to the channel to get more information just like this okay now the next card that we're going to look at is going to be from us bank us bank is going to be one of those banks again that you want to try to build a relationship with and just so you know you know if you're thinking like why do i have to build a relationship with all of these banks why can't i just apply and get the card you know a lot of times they want to know that you're just not going to be a person that just comes fly by get the card and then never do anything else with them they want people to invest more with them and do more different types of transactions with their bank of course that's what they're looking for out of the deal but it can still help you if you're trying to do something else later on like maybe get a car loan or something like that from one of these banks that you might be banking with you having a relationship can help make that a lot easier and speaking of getting a car when you are trying to get a car and you're a business owner a lot of times it can be very hard to verify your income depending on how you're getting your transaction set up especially if you're new and you don't really already know this you might not have your transactions all in sync and maybe some of your money is mismanaged a little bit in the beginning and maybe you're going from this account to that account everything just isn't streamlined so when you're trying to prove your income to get some things that you need it can be very hard so having that ability to be able to create your own pay stubs makes things a lot easier than coming up with all those bank statements and coming up with tax returns you can have something on the spot that you can give to somebody that makes it easier just like a person that works a w-2 job now you can do that with adp and i put a link to them down in the description they can do an analysis for you and they actually have some deals going right now as well and they can see what would be a good product for you to use as far as creating your pay stubs and if you have a team of people people they can also help you look at your overall HR and your payments that you make to them and get you set up with some of their systems that are easy to use and cost effective so go ahead and check out the link to ADP down below if you want to try to make your own pay stubs or if you want a better way to pay your employees or some of the other benefits that they offer anyway back to US Bank now this card is really a no frills card at all but you can see it has a low intro APR uh, from what they state 17.24% to 26% is what it will be after 18 billing cycles because they're going to start you off with 0% APR. But overall, this is a no frills card, but it is something that you can get to build business credit and to get additional funding for your business. They also have no annual fee on the card or on any employee cards that you might get for employees. So that makes it very, very good. And now let's go on to that last card. Okay, so the last card is going to be with PNC Bank. Now, PNC Bank has a bunch of different options as far as credit cards go, but we're going to talk about the Visa business card. Now, this one is really good for people that are rate conscious and are more worried about the rates than rewards because it is more focused on giving you a low APR. They give you 0% introductory APR on balance transfers for the first 13 billing cycles if you do that within the first 90 days. So if you're trying to get to something with a bit of a lower rate to try to pay off your debts as well 
from your other business credit cards that's something that can be a good option for you and you can see here that the rates once you get past that are between 15 to 25 percent which is lower than some of the other options out there not the lowest but it is still lower than some of the options that are out there they also have no annual fee so you don't have to worry about that and they have online management tools for your account as well again this one isn't about rewards this one is more about if you're going to be keeping a balance for a while and you want to not have the highest fees that are out there now if you are still trying to get more funding or if you are interested in trying to figure out more about getting that virtual business office that I was talking about, then you're gonna to want to go to one of these two videos where you will get to learn about either more funding or about virtual business offices that you can use for a virtual address and also to have a meeting space should you need that and some other amenities like phone services with a receptionist and all of that. So check out the one that you think you need and I'll see you in the next video.